The Bluebirds played the first of back-to-back -back games on Austrian soil on Saturday afternoon, as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer looked to give his entire squad game time in Kirchbichel. Match 1 kicked off at 4pm local time against zwei Bundesliga club 68 München, while the second of the games against Albanian side Tutor Dures will also be available to view this weekend on Cardiff City Club. A number of City fans have made the trip to Western Austria, with plenty of action of them to enjoy during this stay here. The intensity of the game in the opening minutes was impressive, taking into account its friendly status. This allowed the Bluebirds to get a good feel of competitive football in conditions that reached as high as 38 degrees. Good play down the right-hand channel by Nicky Maynard allowed Peter Whittenham to slide in Federico Makeda. The Italian international put the ball in the back of the net, only for the officials to rule the goal offside after just a minute's play. The next chance of the game went Munich's way, when this rather speculative deep cross was met by the centre forward. Fortunately, Joe Lewis would not be troubled. Mats Muller-Daly was next to test the German's goal with this effort after some strong build-up work from Makeda. Before Maynard tried a similar strike at goal from the same sort of angle. Daly's good cross here almost resulted in an own goal, with former Crystal Palace goalkeeper Gabel Karali saving the defender Steinhofer's blushes. The dangerous Makeda again came close with this snapshot across goal. And while Munich posed a solid aerial threat, they almost caught out the City backline here with a cheeky driven free kick. Though it was this darting run and layoff from Matt Smuller Daly that allowed the Bluebirds to take the lead through Makeda after 23 minutes. The Italians' first Cardiff City goal, which came after a promising opening period for Kiko. Unfortunately for City, their lead was short-lived. That aerial threat of Munich again evident here, as striker Christopher Schindler powered his head past Lewis into the bottom corner of the net. No stopping that for the City keeper, a well-crafted goal. Cardiff was straight back up the other end though, and in rather comical circumstances, retook the lead just a minute after the Germans levelling. Peter Whittenham's near post corner delivery here was not dealt with by keeper or defence, the ball settling in Karali's goal, much to the displeasure of the tracksuit bottom clad Hungarian. 2 1 City, and the stadium announcer was getting some great use out of his now 1920 season. For a pre season friendly in tropical conditions, the first half really proved fantastic entertainment for those in attendance. Joe Lewis was again helpless for Munich's second equaliser in the 37th minute, as Maximilian Vitek's drive from distance found its way into the corner of the goal. A smart effort, but on looking at the replay, perhaps this one came with the aid of a slight deflection. And Munich may have taken the lead shortly before the interval, but for this fine Lewis stop to keep the scores at 2 2. Daly might have done better here from close range early in the second half after some first-class passing and precision from Whittingham and Maynard. While Mark Hudson came close to restoring City lead and meeting this corner kick inside the area. Munich had started the second period well and had the upright to blame for them not taking the lead here. Moments later, and another fine drive from distance certainly gave Joe Lewis cause for concern, the England keeper was in imperious form to tip this Vitek effort over the crossbar on the hour mark. While City were fortunate again not to concede moments later, when sloppy defending allowed the Germans arguably too much time in front of goal with which to try and score. Munich were in the ascendancy going to the final 20 minutes, and were unfortunate to see this goal chalked off for offside after some incisive forward play in the final third. City was starting to tire, and poor defending may well have cost them dearly had it not been for the linesman's flag once again. That's two disallowed goals for Munich to City's one. Solskjaer made changes for the final 10 minutes, with Kenwin Jones, Kimbo Kyung and Etienne Velikania all taken to the field. And it was the latter couple's neat play inside the area that led to City's winning goal with six minutes left to play. Kim playing in Etty, who fired home in the second time of asking, past a helpless Karali. 
he'd been missing the gold celebration music, hadn't you? City pushed for a fourth late on, and the Mercurial Daily allowed Kim time to put in one last effort. It would have been something special. But there would be no more goals in this one. A fine pre-season friendly indeed, in which the City would reign victorious. Germany may be world champions, but it was the Welsh Bluebirds who took the spoils out here in Austria.